So how do you cut vinyl plank flooring the long way without any fancy tools and how much should you charge to install vinyl plank flooring on steps? In this video, I'm going to give you the double whammy and break it all down. So we got the vinyl plank flooring. We lined it up on top of the existing plank we just installed. Next, we're going to use a plank and line it up directly with the wall and it's overlapping on top of the plank that we actually need to cut and have it fit perfectly against the wall. So with it lined up like that, I'm just able to use it as a straight edge because in theory, this is going to give me the perfect length. No tape measures in my world. No siree. We're just going to go ahead and use this creative MacGyver strategy to go ahead and get it cut perfectly to where we need it. So once it's lined up, you go ahead and score it three, four, five times. This is actually kind of a meaty plank here. So you definitely want to get that scored properly so you can snap it off. But once you get that done, I'm going to go ahead and take a little pair of pliers to them here just to loosen it up for me. Usually you could just take your hands, kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it started. But I want to get a good grip on this and make sure I can break it off. And look how we're just going right down that line I just created with my knife. We're going to work our way all the way down. Then we'll take our blade, score that piece off, and we will have a perfectly cut vinyl plank ready to drop into place for us here. So check this out. Take a nice sharp blade, run it right down there. Whoo, my thumb got real close to that there. Only professionals should be messing around like that. That is literally all there is to it, to cutting it lengthwise. So pretty easy. Now, obviously, we flew right through that. Might take you a little more time if you're a DIY type newbie at this game. But don't worry. It's that simple. Just take your time. Don't hurt yourself in the process. And then once it's lined up, just smash it with a hammer. Do not smash it with a hammer. I'm a pro. I could totally smash it with a hammer. But that's all there is. Biggity bam. It's locked in place. And that's how you cut vinyl plank flooring the long ways. Let's cover the next question that came in, which was... How much do you charge to install vinyl plank flooring on the stairs and risers? Now, there is no true set formula for this. Everybody's going to have their own opinion. Here's what I do, though. First things first, a flight of stairs is typically 60 square feet of materials. So right off the bat, we're going to charge you for planks plus traditional installation. So let's say the planks cost $3 a square foot, and then we're going to go ahead and add $2 a square foot for installation. So we're at 5 bucks a square foot. So right off the bat, you're at $300 for material and installation, but there's no way you're going to do all those stairs for just $2 a square foot because you'll be there forever. Then you got to charge a surcharge Per stair. This is where you can leave it up to your own judgment, your selling ability, and what you think you can close the client out at. Do a minimum of $20 per step. And if you're doing metals as a stair nosing, you could throw it in because it's pretty economical for that price. But if you're doing vinyl for the stair nosing, you got to charge for each additional plank. So let's go back to the beginning here. 60 square feet, $5 here at $300. But you also have 12 stairs that you have to do all this custom work to at $20 a stair. That's going to be $240 on top of the $300, I think I said, which takes us to $540. And then you could always upsell from there. But that's how I price out installing vinyl plank flooring on steps. Like I said, you could always go higher. And I do believe people in the industry do go higher. We have a pretty good rhythm down on how we do it. So those numbers work for us. But as always, in any questions about the flooring industry, throw those comments down below and I'll look forward to connecting with you in the next video.